greatest fast bowler of his generation, that he will always be famous. Amid all the storm and stress associated with his bowling, Harold has emerged with even greater popularity and certainty of the fairness of his bowling. These slow motion films show how dead on the wicket Larwood's deliveries are unfailingly placed. Larwood sends down his expresses faster than ever, and none of the Australians find a way to deal with them. And I was a commander on the Monday. I went to uh, liberty on the Tuesday, and I was a professional cricketer on the Wednesday at 32 shillings a week. And that was in 1925, my first match for Nuts. And halfway through the season in 1926, I'm playing against Australia. Born to a coal miner in Nottinghamshire, young Harold Larwood left school at 13 to twirl down the mines, eventually working his way up to being in charge of the pit ponies. He'd shown an early talent for cricket. Despite his short stature, Lowood had acquired upper body strength and stamina from his long shifts down the mine and could already bowl at a disconcertingly fast and dangerous speed. today how fast Larwood was. I was fielded out third man and there were times I couldn't see the ball. So it gives you some idea. His tremendous pace. He had the most beautiful run up and the, the most lovely action and timing. I, I never seen anything better. so delighted to have with us on this occasion, but I found it very difficult to express in words what I feel. He is certainly one of the finest men I have ever met and have had the privilege of meeting. A magnificent captain, a great sportsman, and a true friend. Love England. Still got it all this talking about England. Yes. The heart's still there, but this is where my family is now. And Do you wish you had ever apologised? No. No, oh, nothing to apologise.